Well, good morning. It's uh, day two. It's now uh, five to nine. Didn't sleep very well last night because of that rail yard right next door. From 10 o'clock until two in the morning, trains back and forth, back and forth. When I finally did fall asleep, I felt I, I dreamed I was driving a train. And then I woke up again at 2.30 in the morning to another train going back and forth. You know, they're building trains. And finally during the day, it's quiet. So I got up this morning at six o'clock. You know, I just took my time very, very leisurely. Enjoying the morning, had breakfast. Ah, this is something interesting. There, it's the Potomac River. And across the river, that's West Virginia. Interesting thing, though, is I see these got this uh, these farmers over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. There we go. They're drawing water out of the Potomac. Now, in Virginia, the Potomac River actually belongs to the state of Maryland. I don't know about here in West Virginia. You know, traditionally, borders of rivers, you know, right down right through the middle. But in the state of Maryland, Virginia or the uh, state of Maryland owns the Potomac River. So. If that's the case here in West Virginia, those farmers are stealing water from Maryland. Got the bike all packed up, all ready to go. We just finished charging the uh, uh, cell phone up to 100%. This battery pack with its solar panel just uh, hanging off the side right there. So you know, as you know, as I was charging the phone, I'm charging the battery pack as well. Just gonna finish. Uh, this is my cook area over here. Oh, there goes a train back and forth, back. And forth. biking clothes that are still airing out on the bicycle here and then we'll be good to go heading down the trail. I'm going to do 40 miles today, see how we feel. We'll stop at the uh, next campsite and make an evaluation from there. So here we go. Now this is the campsite I should have gone to but it was an additional four and a half miles so it would have been a total of nine miles from the trailhead so that wouldn't have been about an hour. I would have been getting here really, really dark and setting up in the dark. But it's a deep campsite, very secluded off the main trail. And it's away from the trains. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a railroad trestle right there, but it's not near the yard where I heard all those trains last night shunting back and forth. But man, it's right by the river, so. Let's see, 4.5 miles plus 4.7, you know, it would have been 8, 9.2 miles, about a 45 minute ride. Would have gotten here about 8.30, close to 9 o'clock, getting dark, so I would have only been able to pitch my tent and then crawl in because when I tried to stay in my hammock last night, but the bugs started getting a little bit thick, so I crawled into the, uh, into the tent and just listened to the trains banging back and forth all night, so. Note to self, maybe this one is a better sight next time I come down the trail. All right, having some SD card error problems. Hopefully I get it resolved. But I ran into some wildlife here on the trail. Say hello to Mr. Turtle. Uh, this is the second one I've <laughs> seen on the trail. And at the campsite I saw three beavers. So we already got our share of wildlife. Say hi. Uh, he's all. Nope, you're not gonna come out and play? Alrighty. Hopefully we don't run into any more card problems. Trim the brush. Look at this. Ah, it's all shale. Yeah, that's soft. Wow. This breaks in your hand.
It's parts of the trail I've never seen. green algae <laughs> that means that, that water don't move towpath closed one and a half miles ahead follow detour so let's we'll see what that's all about I'll go 1.5 miles and see what happens So, so the uh, closed area is the Paw Paw Tunnel. So we're going to take a uh, ride down there. I don't see any detour signs. So we're going to keep on going, see how far we can get uh, before we have to take a detour. So here we go on our way to Paw Paw Tunnel. Towpath closed to through traffic. Follow detour. The detour is a distance approximately 1.5 miles of steep and strenuous trail. Follow signs carefully and stay on the trail. Those using the detour should do so with extreme caution. Pawpaw Tunnel is open for visitation. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the tunnel. And then we're going to come back and use the, uh, the detour because we have to get through on the towpath. We'll see what happens. But here we go. This is one of the highlights of the trip, is to go through the tunnel. Tunnel trail, trail regulations, no biking. See, I won't be able to get my bicycle through there. And see, that's part of the, uh, the fun of the tunnel right here. All right, I'm gonna turn on the headlight. I don't know how much the uh, GoPro is gonna pick up because GoPros are not that good in the dark. Wow, this is a dirt trail. Doesn't see very well over the top of the uh, bag. Okay, what's going on up here upstairs? Don't tell me SD card error. Nope, it's still running. So, I'm going to put that back on. I'm going to have an SD card errors with the... Uh, oh, I know what that beep was. It's probably the GPS telling me it's, it's lost its signal. Yeah, I can see construction equipment up ahead. Yeah, I was checked the National Park Service website and and it was telling us that this is a construction uh, or renovation or repair on the tunnel was supposed to be done at the end of June. Well, it's now the middle of July, and of course, when I went back to check the website, the link was dead. 
sent an email to the NPS and sent a, tw you know, a Twitter at NPS and uh, nobody got back to me so obviously they're still doing work back here. Of course, it's a weekday, it's supposed to be construction, there are no construction workers. And this jig lift is in the way. Yeah, the jig lift is in the way. I think you wouldn't be able to get around it. Nope, handle burrs don't fit. Now, the challenge is, is to turn the bicycle around and go back. But that was interesting. All right, and I turned the video off because I don't want to waste time. Yeah. Okay, so here we are at the, uh, there's a construction sign there. We just visited the Paw Paw Tunnel. And now we gotta take this detour. We'll see what we can see here. Put the helmet on. So, gotta walk the bike. Towpath detour, detour. I can tell right now this is going to suck. But as with all things, when you're out on the trail, the mantra is embrace the suck. Here we go. And of course, with as with all videos on a trail, you never get the appreciation for the steepness. Now, I'm not just hiking. I'm also pushing a heavy mountain bike with road tires not made for climbing this stuff right now. We'll definitely get our work out today. Now the question is, is do I want to be a CNO Canal purist and bike back to the other end of the pop? This is the most strenuous portion of the trail so far, having to go over Paw Paw Tunnel. But man, look at that view there. And we still gotta go up, like that. That's level, that's up. So I haven't reached the summit. Hopefully it's a smooth downhill I can ride. I can ride the bike going down. But maybe this is only gonna be a 40 mile day because of this. Because a heart rate right now is uh, 135. Whew. And I thought I was in shape. I guess I'm in better shape than I thought I was, but glad I did all that hiking and biking. But this is still strenuous. Fortunately, though, I did top off all the water prior to this, so I do have plenty of water to get down to the other side and where we. Where we uh, refill our water on the downhill side. It's still a long climb up and that is a very steep downhill there but wow look at that view. I know the camera does not, this little iPhone camera doesn't do it justice but man it's it's gorgeous up here. I keep walking up, my heart rate hits 160, I stop, take a sip of water, wait for the heart rate to go down to 140, and continue moving on. I don't know how much longer uphill we've got to go, but eventually we've got to go down. Oh, it's gorgeous. These guys. 
and I got sweat in my eyes. <sighs> Beautiful. Well, it looks like I made it to the summit. Man, what a climb. But who'd have thunk it? There's, of course, there's a road up here. And it's not just a temporary towpath detour. This is an actual trail. As I see, as I got four different blazes here. There's a towpath detour, and then there is the Pawpaw Tunnel Hill green. And all of a sudden, I discovered these orange ones. But then it looks like it's downhill from here, so we're going to uh, bike down it carefully. But we may have to walk a little bit as well, depending upon what the situation is. And I'm getting voicemails from I don't know who. We'll check those later. No motor vehicles. All right. I'm glad I got my bike checked out at REI prior to this trip because, yeah, this looks a little steep. I may have to walk down. Plus, I don't have the right tires for this terrain. Oh yeah, we're riding our we're riding our tire we're riding our brakes all the way down. Yeah. Ah, that's the tire slipping on the on the gravel. So we're gonna have to walk a little bit. But at least it's all downhill from here. Thanks be to God. Well that kind of signs uh, kind of says it all. I'm not gonna be able to go to the entrance of the pawpaw tunnel to uh be a purist but that uh, climb over that hill man that was that was uh, that was quite the workout and coming down was no I mean it was easier but I was riding my brakes all the way down so but it's interesting though is that there were people walking through the tunnel so they uh, they bypassed the sign and went walked right through I would have never been able to get my bike around this anyway so well we were forced we were that was the hand we were dealt with so it's uh, 15 to 1, so we'll find another campground, and we'll uh, stop there, and we'll have uh, have lunch. We're, I think we're about 23 miles, 24 miles in, so more than, uh, more than halfway done for the day. And I think after that climb, I'm only going to do the 40 today. Here we go. Well, here we are at Indigo Creek Campground. You know what, after all those nice campgrounds that I passed by, I stopped at this one, and this is, well, the grass could be cut. <laughs> that's the only thing that's wrong with it. I got here, I was just physically exhausted. It's about, let's see now, it's uh, five after five. I got here about three o'clock, physically exhausted, all hot and sweaty. So I strung my hang up, to hang, hang up, hang, hang up, hammock between those two trees, but it was right in the sun. And so I moved over yonder, but then stuff kept falling out of that tree, so I moved it over there and finally got the chance to relax. I mean, it's still warm, but I finally got to stop sweating and my way of keeping myself clean is I got my bandana and I soak it, you know, with the pump and then I just wipe my body down, keep myself clean and I got Purell to sanitize and camp size to keep clean. Set the tent here. Not a bug problem, it's getting real windy, but I was looking at the uh, weather radar, there's a storm that just passed me. So this is the, uh, the wind from that storm. But we got everything set up now, put everything that's, that needs to be protected inside the tent, and then I'll put the, uh, the rain cover over the uh, rain cover over the paneers. Just filtered, uh, just filtered some water. I was going to set up closer to the table, but the table was in the middle of the sun. So it was no fun to sit there, and it is chained down so it can't move. So I got my fresh water there, and I got some dirty water as well to, to, uh, uh, to filter out if I need more water. Somebody before me didn't extinguish their fire. It's still burning. 
from last night, of no less. And I just threw some paper in there and it burned up, so it, it's still <coughs> it's so hot. <coughs> so I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna edit some videos. The um, the cell reception here is very, very spotty. I find a sweet spot and I can download stuff, but I'm not gonna be able to upload any video tonight. So after dinner, I'll, uh, I'll edit some videos and then <coughs> save it for tomorrow. When I get closer to a better spot, I'll upload that video tomorrow. So <coughs> it's end of, uh, end of day two, um, Monday. Yeah, it's uh, Monday the 17th on uh, the second day of my bike camping trip. So we'll cook up some food. Oh, and there is my bear line. Using the PTC method of, 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 uh, of stringing a food bag. If you don't know what that is, look it up on the uh, PTC, Pacific Crest Trail method of hanging, uh, hanging your food bag.